I'm Carlene Rose and welcome to another video of the YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to start in a seated position. Um, if it feels comfortable for you, or I should say if it doesn't hurt, uh, see if you can sit with your toes tucked underneath you, sitting on your heels, starting to stretch out the backs of your feet. If it's a little uncomfortable, as in you haven't stretched it enough and it, and it feels like it's helpful, then do it. If it's like pain, then back off a little, maybe sit up here, maybe grab a block kind of lean yourself forward more, but find a comfortable position where we can start to stretch out the backs of our feet. We tend to um, ignore those a little bit, deny, deny our feet a little more than we should. So as we're doing that, that stretch, getting into it, we will start with our Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling here, thinking about your belly expanding in all directions. And exhale, squeezing everything in and out, exhaling through your nose. Inhale here. Exhale, kind of like you're squeezing, um, like a, a tube of toothpaste, squeezing all of your air out. Inhale. And if that's starting to feel a little too intense, or you feel like you stretch your toes enough, feel free to untuck them at any time as we start to activate our breath a little bit more. So I want you to inhale here, get cactus arms or goddess arms. So you got arms at 90 degrees with a mini back bend and exhale, reach your arms in front of you. I mean like a cat cow with some goddess arms. We're getting into our spine, warming that up, stretching our upper back where we tend to hold a lot of tension. And last time here, exhale. This time planting your fingertips in front of you, coming up hands and knees. We'll do a deeper cat-cow stretch here. So inhale, exhale. Inhale here. Last time, tuck your toes under this time though and lift your knees off of the ground, hovering for just a moment and exhale, coming back to your down dog. You can pedal out your feet here, starting to stretch and warm up the backs of your legs. And from here, slight bend in your knees, wave your spine long, see if you can create some space in your dog pose, um, creating space for your neck and your shoulders and exhale let your feet and your heels just extend naturally towards the earth. From here, we'll do some dog to plank waves. So bend your knees and elbows, wave yourself forward to plank. You can step your uh, feet back a little if you are in a little short of a position. And then tiny bend in your elbows here as you exhale, wave yourself back to down dog. Inhaling here, wave yourself forward to plank, bend in your elbows as you exhale, wave yourself back to dog. Inhale, waving yourself forward, and exhale, waving yourself back. Now this time, inhaling here, wave yourself to your high plank, come onto your knees, lower through diagonal chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, roll yourself in and up, and exhale. Inhale, back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here, you're going to inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bring your knee to chest for core plank one. Inhale up. Exhale two. Inhale last time. Exhale through your core plank, lifting in and up, stepping your right foot towards your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine, bending your back knee, rolling yourself in and up to your high lunge. Settle into this pose for a moment. You're going to inhale, extend, both legs, exhale, fists of fire lunges. Now this time if you want an extra challenge, see if you can tap your back knee towards the earth or on the earth. Making sure you're still using your breath. And up to center. Now this time, Bending your right leg, so you can lean yourself a little forward, really ground into the earth with your right foot. Lift
lifting in and up all the way from the base of your foot all the way up your legs to your deep core. Lift your left leg high. Inhale, slowly step yourself back. Lean yourself forward again, prepare. Inhale here. Exhale, lifting up, fist of fire, come to low belly. And slowly, with controlled motion, coming back, inhale. Inhale again, prepare, and exhale. Very nice. Now extending your leg all the way back, and exhale, planting your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Right arm's gonna extend towards the sky. From here, we'll do some arm circles. So circling down, bending your back knee, and as you circle your arm back up, extending your front right leg to that first edge of stretch. Circling down, and back up. And one last time here, circle. Extending up, holding this stretch now for a few breaths. If you want, you can keep your arm extended or rotate your palm behind you and wrap it around for a half bind. Find a comfortable position for your neck. Awesome. Arm extends to the sky. Plant your hand onto the earth. This time, hit the inside of your right leg. You're going to, you don't have to come all the way to the earth, just come to a gentle stretch to get into your inner thighs. You can drop the knee if that feels good. Long spine. Again, just coming to that first edge of stretch to get into the inner leg of the right side a little. And back. Hands are on either side of your foot. Stepping back to your high plank. Coming through your diagonal chaturanga. Inhaling here, prepare. Rolling yourself in and up. And exhale down dog. Very nice. Then you pedal out your feet. Noticing the difference on each side. And from here, bending elbows and knees. Left leg lifts this time. Exhale for core plank one. Inhale up. Exhale for core plank two. Inhale last time. Exhale lifting in and up, stepping your left foot towards your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee, rolling yourself in and up to that high lunge. Inhale, in your high lunge, settle into the pose for a moment, then extend both legs. Exhale to those fists of fire lunges. And last one here. Now if you want, you can do three more of those or Send all the way up, and this time tap your back knee to the earth. And now for our extra balance challenge, lean yourself forward, really plant into the earth here with your left foot, lifting in and up as you bring your right knee to 90 degrees here. Inhale, slowly do this. Seeing if you can control your balance. No crazy momentum here. Inhaling, prepare. Exhale as your right leg lifts. And extending it back. Really trying to maintain your breath. Letting your breath control this movement. Very nice, way to take on that balance challenge. Exhale, right hand plants this time beneath right shoulder, left arm unfurls to the sky. Exhale, circling down and back. And as you extend your arm, extend your left leg to that first edge of stretch. So stretching out our legs while getting rid of shoulder tension. So multitasking here. And holding it at the top, you can keep your arm extended. Or if you want to try it on this side, left hand rotates behind you. And drop your uh, arm behind your back. Now from here, planting your hands both inside your foot. 
coming to a gentle stretch here. Again, you can drop your right knee to the earth if that feels better. Making sure you're extending your spine, lifting tall through the crown of your head. Getting to the inner thigh of the left leg this time. And of course, hand comes to the outside of the foot now, stepping yourself back to your high plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, rolling in and up. Exhale back to damp dog. And walking your feet all the way through your hands, coming to a seated position, all the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself some love in. You can circle your knees one way and then the other. You can even think about pressing down on your knees and a little bit away from your, um, from your body to help create some traction in your low spine. And from here, take any yogi's choice moment stretches that you might need. Feel free to hit pause, do whatever stretches and cool other cooling down you want to do today. And then come into your final resting pose, extending out onto your mat in your Shavasana. Stay here for a few minutes before going on to the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed that practice. I look forward to seeing you on the mat next time. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, that way you get notifications for the new videos. And be sure that you're on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list because I have exclusive content for you. Namaste.